Hi, it's Charles Norman here again with another Professor Q product review. And today's product is a basketball shooting training aid for younger kids called the Block. Uh, here's what it looks like. It actually is a little rubber piece and it has a bunch of uh, quadrants on there. It actually has six quadrants on there that will uh, instruct the child on where to place their hands. One of the big problems when you're trying to show a younger child how to shoot is making sure they get their hands in the right place every single time. One of the things uh, kids like to do when they're first learning to shoot is they like to push from the chest area because the basket's so high, they're not used to the motion of shooting and holding the ball correctly. But what you want them to be able to do is not only get their hands in the right position, but you also want them to get the ball up and get their wrist caught. So you can get that straight uh, elbow and you can get them lined up in their shot line. So in order to train that and, and not let them get away with this motion, um, you need something that forces them. And so when they put their hands in the right position on this basketball in these quadrants, uh, they can't really hold the ball here. I can do it because my hands are a little larger. For a little kid, the ball will slip out. So that's going to force them to get the ball up in the air and in the right position. Also, uh, one of the other things you want to make sure of is when you're trying to train a child to, to shoot, you need to get repetitions. And you need to be able to get the ball back to them and get them to shoot again and again and again. And what happens over a course of a workout session, they start developing a groove. And once they develop that groove, now you need the repetitions. The more repetitions you get in with that same groove, and they will get in the groove, and they'll start making shots. And they'll get that ball up in the spot that they needed to get into, and they'll swish it, and then you need to get the ball back to them right away. And with this, they don't even have to look down at the ball. So they can just put their hand in the right quadrants and one on the side, one on the other side, and you're fine. Right hand, left hand, it doesn't matter. One on one side, one on the other side. So this is really an ingenious product. Uh, this was uh, created by a gentleman by the name of Joey Tolis, him and his son. Uh, his son is actually the one that gave him the idea. Now Joey's been coaching at Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three basketball for decades. He's also now a high school coach, but he's also a teacher. And uh, it just so happens he was working with his son at home after a hard day of uh, practicing with some other kids. And his son, the ball rolled off the bed. His son went over to uh, retrieve it, but he ended up retrieving a cube that keeps his other toys. And something hit him. Uh, Joey likes to call it divine intervention. Whatever it was, all of a sudden it just made sense to him. And this is what he came up with. Again, it has six different squares. He calls them quadrants, but I call them squares and they're just the place where you should put your hand, where your hand should go on the ball to shoot correctly. Now, it is, I, I don't want to turn this into a shooting lens, but one of the things I want to do, if you're going to use a product like this, what I want to make sure you're doing with a young child is understanding this. All shooting really is, is a transfer of power, of energy from the body, through the shoulders, through the arm, through the wrist, through the hand, through the fingers. Okay, so every single player that plays basketball is different. Physiologically, they're different. They're going to shoot different. I used to own a store. I had a whole wall full of videos for every sport you could think of. And for basketball, I had a, a basketball, baseball, and softball I had the biggest section. I had at least 10 to 15 videos just on shooting the basketball. So from every coach you can think of, from every level, professional, college, high school, uh, and then youth coaches, and every different theory. I actually had a video that was an hour and a half just on using the legs. At some point, it, it gets to be a little bit ridiculous. The one thing you do know for sure, you want to get the ball up, you want your wrist cocked, you want to try to get that straight elbow. That is the, the best way to shoot the ball, and it's scientifically proven to give you the best chance of making a shot. But every single player is going to be slightly different. So what you want to do is you want to train your kid how to do it correctly, and then kind of let them loose a little bit. Go, okay, I just showed you how to hold the ball, and how to shoot. Now, just do it the way you would do it using what I showed you. And you'll watch. They'll develop their own little mechanism for getting the shot in a comfortable slot for them. Every, every player has to have a comfortable slot for their shot. I've seen videos where they're talking about your feet should be squared up and some that you could be a little bit to the side. Uh, you should release super high up here or some as soon as you pass your forehead, no further than that. And it, there's just a variety of different ways people want to tell you to teach someone else how to shoot, but normally the person that's telling you that is actually, that's the way they shot. Or they saw some uh, uh, success teaching someone to shoot that way, but you don't know if that translates to the game. So if you watch, even at the professional level, 
everybody has a different release point. Everyone has a, a different way they bring the ball up. So, and even if, as they get their shot into their shot pocket, some are all on the side, some are directly in front. And I've even, I even saw a video where they said you're supposed to let the ball go past your strong eye. So everyone has a dominant eye. You just don't know you have it. And there's an easy way to find it. I'm not going to necessarily go over that in this video. But what I'm really trying to get across to you is there's a million different ways. Just make sure they get the ball up in the right position, that they have their wrist cocked. That's really important, that the ball is not sitting flat on the palm. These are things that are going to have to happen, that the ball is actually sitting on the finger pads, and they have some bit of control. But as a little kid with small hands, it's going to take a little while for them to get completely comfortable. But no matter how you're teaching, there's always a slot, a groove that that player is going to have, and you want them to get into that, and don't try to fix that. Let them have that groove. Now, if they're shooting from the chest area, they're going to have problems later on. They do need to get the ball up. So the only way they can do that, and this, ball, this uh, train aid, the block, will help them do it, is they have to have their hands in the right position. Because if you don't have your hand on the side correctly, if you have it too high, you're actually blocking your own shot. If you have it too low, you can't control the ball, and you start to throw the ball. So you do want to do it correctly. But this product will help you do it a lot faster. You're going to train your child a lot faster. They don't have to look down. And once they get in that groove, you just get the ball back to them. They put their hands on that ball correctly, and they're back into their shot again. So that's what you want to have happen. Another tip I want to give real quick. If you're going to teach uh, a child to shoot, make sure that you're teaching them from the shot pocket. And if they learn to shoot from the shot pocket and then follow up through to the shot, it will help them in almost every position they're in on the court. If they're receiving a pass, they get the ball to the, as the pass is coming in. This is almost triple threat position, but it's still the same thing as your shot pocket. And if they have it in their shot pocket and their hands are right, then they can go straight into their shot. If they're dribbling, if you, they happen to be dribbling and they want to dribble into a shot, if I were you, I'm left-handed. So if I were you, I would teach them to use their off hand as the hand to bring the ball in. They should always bring the ball to their shooting hand. They should never go over and get the ball and bring it over. That's why you don't want them shooting with their dominant hand. Now they have to bring the ball back over to this hand, then get set to shoot the ball. So once they want to go into their shot, I mean, they should be able to shoot off the dribble with their dominant hand too. But really, if they can go from here and bring the ball up. So you notice I'm here, here, and I bring the ball up as the ball is coming up. I don't go back down again. You don't want to go down and tip off the shot. So just get them to stand, stand, dribble, and bring the ball into their shooting pocket. Stand, stand. Stand, stand, dribble, and then have them do the same thing taking passes. They can be turned and learn to turn into their shot from both sides. That's all fine. But what you want to make sure is, is that they're always looking to take their shot from their shot pocket. And if they do that, then they'll have the same motion over and over again. The other thing to remember is, for shooting, all you're doing is transferring energy. That's it. And when I saw that video for an hour and a half, I saw a video for an hour and a half just on the legs and how the feet should be. And then you know that there's people that, that play basketball in wheelchairs. So I, I was just blown away. All you're doing is sending energy through your core. Every player does it differently, but they have to be able to gather that energy up as they go up into their shot. Now, right now I'm using my legs, but I, if I was sitting in a chair, I'd have to do the same thing if I had to shoot. I have to get that energy coming up through my core of my body. Then I have to transfer it to my shoulders. It should be relaxed, but that, that's going to get your, your rise going up. And then with your elbow, which is going to help you get steering towards where you actually want to shoot. Your wrists and your finger pads are going to give you that lift that you need. So you want to come through and your fingertips are going to finish that off. But all it is is smoothly transferring energy. And if you get that right, everything else will work. The problem is everyone transfers energy slightly differently. So some people may need to be off center and, and bring it in. Some people can be squared up and it's no problem. The other thing you always want to remember is, is that as little movement as possible from side to side. That goes for the head, the body, the chest, everything else. You want everything to go up in a really tight package and you want it to be the same way. Minimal movement of the arm. So when that shot is coming up, you're going to stay really tight every time. Okay, Very little movement side to side. So if you see someone shooting a fall away or a leaner, you watch their body. They're actually in a straight line. It's just that that straight line may be leaning backwards and forward, and they got to release the ball a little differently. But you very seldom see anybody leaning from side to side to shoot the ball and be an accurate shooter. Okay, like I said, I didn't want to turn this into a shooting uh, video. This is the block. You must get this for your child if you're going to be teaching them. And any parent can use it. It's rubber. It fits right over the ball. I just slid this one over this ball. I've changed this about three or four balls. Obviously, when I was uh, working with some of our kids, we had to work outdoors and not inside and I did not use this ball 
uh, outdoors. So I've moved this around quite a few times. It'll fit any size ball. That was the other thing. Uh, I also sell the ball with the hands and with the hands on it. And one of the problems there is that the kid always had to look down and find where to put his hand so he could match up with the hand on the ball. And then he'd do the same thing with the side or she. And then every time uh, they made a shot, throw the ball back and they would have to do it again. And so once they got in the groove, they would lose it. So what you want them to do is to stay in that groove. Once they get in the groove, their muscle memory, it'll come back a lot faster the next time you work out. So that's really, really, really important. The other thing with the uh, hands-on ball was that um, it only came in one size, a junior size. This can fit over any size ball. So you could have a junior size, you can have the 28-5 uh, the ball that the women use and the, some of the younger players use, and you can have the 29-5 the, the ball. So it'll fit over any size ball, there's no problems, and it does not cause problems with dribbling. The little bit of uh, unstableness that is there is really great for kids because it forces them to kind of get a feel for the ball. If it gets off a little, that's actually a good thing, not a bad thing. I really thought it was going to be more of a problem, but it actually is not. In fact, there are some training balls out, and I've just uh, gotten some emails about them, that have little knobs on them to make them uh, hard to use to help kids work on uh, controlling the basketball. Okay, so it's the block. I'll leave a link down below. You can go to my website and learn a little bit more about it and a little bit more about the uh, inventor of the product. It costs $24.95. I know that seems a bit pricey for a piece of rubber that fits over a ball, but it does what it's supposed to do. And one of the things I don't do is I never ever recommend a product that I haven't seen work. And this product helped a couple of kids. I had 11 to 14 year olds, and I had a couple of 11 year olds that had never played organized basketball before. So they had no idea how to shoot or dribble or do anything, and this is what I use for them and it really changed their shot. It made them much calmer in games because they knew they just had to get their hands right, they would catch the ball correctly, and they would go right to their shots. And I didn't have that push shot, which is usually you let them get away with, and as they get bigger, you will try to change it. Well, I had kids that are already going into the seventh grade that had no business pushing a push shot, so I didn't have that luxury of waiting for them to get uh, a little bit older. I needed to fix it right away. But I think the same thing will work with your five, six, seven, eight-year-old just just as easily so get it you can get it from my website it's called the block it just came out uh, the last few months and it's really a great product I really recommend it and I hope you get one for your young player okay don't forget go to our website and look at all of our uh, videos and remember our number one thing let's keep them in the game we'll talk to you later